Am I gonna buy more perfume? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool video for you guys. As I mentioned in my last video, I purchased a couple of things and I wanted to film a haul video for you guys. So without further ado, I hate long intros. Let's get started. First thing is beauty. I got this L'Essentiel foundation. It's the High Perfection Foundation 24 Hour Wear. I got it in porcelain and very light. If you have normal Asian skin tone, I feel like porcelain and very light would work for you. So this one is in the shade porcelain and this one fits me better than very light. This is what the foundation looks like. Because I was going to film this video, I tried it out just to you know see if i like it or not and i also am not going anywhere today so it's perfect to test out new foundations because you never know whether it's gonna look weird or oxidize but i absolutely have no complaints um i know guerlain has a bunch of different foundations for their l'essentiel line but this one is great for oily skin because it's very matte but it's not drying i got these also for super cheap because i bought it through the staff sales because i work for lvmh and i also bought this retractable foundation brush this is super cute so how you use it is you take it out press it up i actually haven't used this foundation brush yet but you're supposed to just like um i'll let you know i think this will be really good if you're like traveling or if you're applying foundation outside that's so convenient i also got this meteorites base i haven't used it yet i think it's supposed to be a very glowy primer because it has these like pink pearls inside i will let you guys know i think this will be really good for glowy summer makeup i feel like guerlain products are definitely not very well known but i feel like they have such great quality products really love this foundation and i'm gonna probably buy more next time there's another sale coming around and then next i have two products from hermes beauty and this is what my mom friend got me for um, starting a new job she got me a satin lipstick it's in the color beige head bluey i'm trying to learn french not going well wow the packaging is amazing this is amazing packaging comes with a dust bag what this is so cute so heavy it's like designer lipstick guys it's this really pretty pinky nude color wow wow that's gorgeous thank you so much uh, i really appreciate it she also got me this i think this is hand sanitizer in the scent rhubarb let's open it up i guess i guess you open it up mm, it smells really good it smells very i think it smells like rhubarb i guess it smells really fresh i think it's gonna elevate my hand sanitizing experience so this is what the packaging looks like next i went to byrito brother wanted to get a perfume from byrito and i got enabled because they were like if you buy two perfumes you get this big sample of another perfume. He got one, I got one. It's not even open. I saved it for the haul. I got the Byredo Blanche Eau de Parfum. I was deciding between several scents, but I think Blanche would be really great for every day. So I got the 30 ml. I think I got the smaller size basically because I get bored of perfumes all the time. As the years go back, I always change like my taste and scent. Anyway, I'm gonna just spray this. Also, it's magnet. Magnet! <laughs> Let me search up the notes. So just like by sniff, it smells like cotton, laundry, um, skin, fresh sheets, like that type of smell, like very clean. So base note is musk, woodsy, and sandalwood. But the sandalwood and the wood note isn't too strong, but I, it's definitely there. It's just very weak. I think it's a great entry to woody smells. Too much wood is just a little bit overwhelming for me. And then the middle notes are peony, violet, African orange flower. And then there's rose, pink pepper, and aldehydes. So it's a very floral perfume, but it doesn't scream floral. It's very different from Peony and Blush Suede by Jill Malone or any of the other floral perfumes I've tried. It literally just smells like fresh, clean laundry. The reason why um, we bought two perfumes is because they were gonna give us this. And this is the Byredo Bal de Freak Eau de Parfum. This is a really decent size sample and I'm sure it's also not cheap. Bal de Freak smells 
amazing. I really, really like by Rito's perfumes. I really like the scent profile. There is nothing there that I dislike. Because sometimes if I go to if I go to a perfumery, I would have like one or two scents that I love. But I would hate everything else. And I think, for instance, like Diptyque is one of those brands that I don't really love. Like there's nothing that I like from Diptyque. But by Rito, I smelled everything and I didn't hate any of them. Like there were definitely a few standouts, but I didn't really hate or dislike or feel like throwing up after smelling them. So I think by Rito is definitely my type of vibe. They also gave us some samples. I decided to get these two because my brother just didn't really want the samples. So this one is Lo Fleur. Lo Fleur is very, very, very floral. I think I don't know if I love it. It's not bad though. So let me just spray it. It's a little too floral. It makes me kind of dizzy because there is a very, very strong green note in this. I'm also smelling like the pollen, if you know what I mean. So the next one is Mojave Ghost. That was a strong spritz. I don't know what this smells like. This smells very confusing, but it's a very popular scent. Face notes are amber green, cedar, no notes from Nori Violet Sandalwood, and top notes musk, umbra, and sapodilla. No idea what sapodilla is. So yeah, so that's everything. No, that's not everything. This, so basically my mom got this from On The List. It's like a discount sales site. It's the ultimate trick mini lipstick vault. It looks really cool. Like you do this and you open it up. And it has all the really famous MAC lipsticks. Mocha, this is my type of color. And then there's also Mer. It's more of a mauve color. And then this one is in the shade Bricola, darker mauve pink color. Taupe, this is another shade that I feel like I'm gonna like. Nudie, pink, brown. So I think this will be really nice for the fall. Dubonette, so this one is very like dark burnt kind of color. MAC Chili, I already have MAC Chili. Very, very famous in Korea, known as the Suzy lipstick. We have Dozen Carnations. It's just a classic red, like siren red. I honestly cannot sport a red lipstick. And then this is Lady Danger. Again, a classic red. I think this is more like warm tone. That's bright. All fired up. This one is more like cherry red. Do you guys see the difference? So we have Ruby Root, but Ruby Root is also really famous. It's also like a more cool tone red. And then we have the purple colors. So we have Diva. I've always wanted to try Diva. I've always been really curious. I love a nice burgundy color for the fall. And we have Rebel. Rebel is just more of like a purple color. It's not even burgundy, it's just straight up purple. So I don't know if I'm gonna like Rebel. I remember in high school, I used to watch YouTubers in the fall, they would have like a black choker and then rebel on their lips rebel and also cyber which is like the really dark black type of color like black purple do you guys remember i think that's all the beauty items that i have next i have this i know in my last video i said that i will not shop from celine I remember. This is gonna be like my only purchase for the next like six months from Celine. Guys, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure I save my money. See, this is the first thing that we got from Celine. So I actually don't have a belt, and recently I bought a bunch of pants, and it's kind of big on big on the waist. I got this belt. I was actually deciding between this one or just the Triumph. So the Triumph ba belt basically has. This, the, it's this without the outer oval shape here. So my mom and I were deciding between that or this. I think she preferred this one and I was indifferent. So I decided to go with her choice. But I think this one definitely is more of a statement piece for sure. It looks really cool. This is called the Mylon Triumph Belt. Next, we got some ready to wear. This is the Celine t-shirt and it has obviously the, the Triumph motif, which has just been the, the trendiest thing ever. It has a navy heart. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like on the sleeves and on the neckline, which kind of gives it a more na nautical navy vibe to it. So this is what the Celine t-shirt looks like. And this is now the most exciting part. <gasps> Ta-da! I got this little shirt or blast. What I loved about this is how thin it is, but also I have a larger chest area and sometimes when I wear shirts, it makes me look very frumpy and it's been a really huge insecurity of mine to wear buttoned up shirts, but this just fits amazing. I don't know what it is. It's maybe because it's like loose 
uh, in the front here it just looks really good and i love it and it has a little celine logo like this what i love about it is how thin and airy it is yeah so that's everything that i got from celine let's move on to Oz. i got one thing from Oz. i got this <laughs> Honestly, this haul, this video, this channel channels a variety of styles. I feel like my style is always very inconsistent. It's probably because I love trying out new styles. And this is a copy of Jenny from Blackpink. This was Jenny's airport bag. She went to the US and she was photographed in it. And this is apparently sold out everywhere in Korea. But I found this. And this came in black and this beige color. And I decided to get this color because the black just didn't look that great. This bag is huge. It's actually so big. What? It's so... Oh my god, you guys can see it, the pants that I'm wearing, but... What? This is huge. Now I understand why Jenny used this as her airport bag because it's so convenient. So it has a pocket, but the pocket is also massive. And it does have a zip compartment, as you can see here. But still, you can definitely lose yourself inside. And I love how lightweight the bag is as well. So even if you put in a lot of items inside, it won't weigh you down as much. I also went to Zara yesterday, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys. Um, I was actually getting colorful clothes for work because next Tuesday is, um, I think it's LGBTQ celebration day and we have wear color or wear the rainbow to work and i wanted to get something to celebrate and, and participate in like office events i just instead bought this pant this is in the size medium it's, i just love the color lavender on me and this is the pants from zara this is the vision that i have i don't know what this type of pants are called but it, this has been really trendy so that's everything that i got from my haul Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next week. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video.